Hi all, today we are going to discuss DCA Python MCQ which we are asked in June this year. Guys, we have already made video on part 1 in which we have discussed few questions of DCA Python MCQ. Okay, so please watch that part also. I will put that part in i button and description link as well. So guys, please like this video and subscribe the channel so that it will be reaching to all the people who are concerned with DCA Python. So let's go to the screen and discuss each of MCQ one by one. Now next question is based on which function will call will create a scatter plot. Okay, how can you create a scatter plot in Python? You have to Google it out and check it out. Okay. So questions are very easy, not that much tough. Each of the following lines of code will generate this graph. Okay, so you have to take it out. Like how can we generate this graph? Okay, and they have given options like take the screenshot of the option first. Okay, you have to use scatter method or circle method or plot method. And then again, I am just zooming it in. Just take the screenshot. Okay, this is the figure. How you can generate this graph okay now next question is you are doing data cleaning how would you clean this string a string david and immersion to david immersion you are supposed to remove the symbol and and replace it with a space okay so how can you do this so you have to go to google and find out how can we replace a symbol with a space in python they have given different options you have to check replace change delete or flip method in python okay now next question is based on again same question leave this out now next question is based on what kind of question it is ha huh. you are given data of customers of two table one table has customers personal information and other table has online buying data you want to merge both tables to get the complete information of both tables which join we are going to use okay pd dot merge command to get the required results inner join outer join left join right join okay so you have to study join python okay now next question is based on they have given one pseudo code like global and local variables are integral part of programming and what will the output of the function addition al equals 5 def multi number return number al so you have to just check it out and tick the correct answer okay now next question is based on what they are again giving up graph so please study more about graph because they are asking much more and more questions on graph and they are asking how you can plot this graph so please study about the graph in detail okay now next question is based on um, now again next question is as a reviewer what do you think the code below code will do okay so comment and count the so two things they are using okay and they are printing the count so take the screenshot and you have to just type these codes on python id and let's check what is the output coming okay and accordingly you can tick you can guess the output okay question is what is the value of variable temp here they are using for loop and temp variable they are printing it so you have to tick the correct answer it is very easy i think now next question is data types are important and at times we have to change data type as per requirement how will you create the array shown below keeping in mind the kind of data stored in it okay so how can you find this you can google out okay now next question is while working with the temperature data set you apply the following code snippet what will the code will do temp temperature dot apply lambda x x minus one whether it is going to give error whether it is going to decrease the temperature by one like that you have to tick the correct answer okay now next question is what is the purpose of the following function doc underscore string underscore this so just google out you will find take the screenshot it will be helpful in the upcoming exam okay now next question is a variable of df contains following panda data frame what is the correct syntax of following data for 2012 and 2016 okay we have to select data for 12 and 16 okay so how can you do that please check it out okay take the screenshot now again they are asking question on bar graph plot so in data visualization labeling of data and axis are important which code snippet will let you add to the threshold line in the plot given below so you have to google out how to add threshold line in python okay we have to use x v line x h line what you are going to do okay 
take the screenshot and google out this question is which panda method will convert a column type from object to float even if there are invalid numbers in that column so what are going to do as type to numeric codes d types you have to google out then only you are going to find okay next question is how will you convert list into panda data frame list two dot pandas list dot pandas pd dot data frames pd dot data frames so you have to google out then only you will be able to know the answer okay what will be the output of this code a equal data print f a into 10 so take the screenshot of this and find out the answer okay next question is you were asked to review the code written by your peer what should be the output of the code snippet given below calculations num into 2 for num in range 1 comma 8 like that okay take the screenshot again the question is about how will you find the range minimum value and maximum value of the complete data set they have given the code just go through it type the same code in python id and let's check what is the output take the screenshot okay next question is what will the abs 200 minus 865 return so the options are these we have to again go to the google or a python id for getting the answer next question is next question is how will you find the range i think it is already discussed by us so let's leave it else you can take the screenshot also if you want now next question is what will the data type of the variable marks so mark 1 equals 10 mark 2 equals 15.3 and marks equal marks 1 plus 2 so what will be the output next question is you have been asked to present a quick statistical summary of the given data set the summary should have the following information this 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 choose the appropriate choice which must be added to the code please go through the code one by one and let's look at the answer okay so the answer will be population dot describe now let's go to the next question what do the following represent pandas numpy sklearn keras obviously they are pandas python libraries okay take the screenshot next question is you were asked to review the code by your i think we have already discussed let's leave it this question we have already discussed now next question is what will the output of the following code 15 equals equals 20 minus 5 true syntax error false syntax error so you have to again go to the python id type there and let's check what output it will give okay now next question is global and local i think we have already discussed but still if you want to take the screenshot please check it out and go to the python id and do the solution there okay 